Another triple black sneaker, you'll probably want some prominent love from Adidas and a big reason why I hate to see samples leak. I am Jacques Slade and this is Today in Sneaks. Prime Knit is a big part of the Adidas world and I'm not sure the shoes like the Ultra Boost or the Easy 350 wouldn't be as popular maybe without it. Keeping the Prime Knit love going, Adidas Originals is adding the knitted material to the upper of the tubular doom. We've actually seen these before but I wanted to give a new look now that pairs are starting to actually show up at retailers. This gray pair looks really great but is it me or does the overall look of this shoe look like a mix of the Yeezy 750 and maybe the uh, old regular tubular? Either way, uh, finished up with some black accents, you can grab these tubular now for $160. Speaking of Adidas Originals, one of the standout old school models that seems to work regardless of your style is the Gazelle. Originally a training kind of like soccer sneaker, the shoe has really taken a life of its own in the lifestyle arena. Today, Adidas announced a throwback version of the shoe back to 1991 that keeps the style pure. It rocks with the suede upper and as far as the color option goes, Adidas is keeping it pretty simple with that burgundy and the blue, both of which sport off-white bottoms. Shout out to Adidas for keeping it true to the past models. Best part about these is the price. You can actually grab a pair starting on September 20 second for only 80 bucks. On the Nike Sportswear side of things, the brand is already looking to hit you with some fall looks, starting with some old school Air Max models. Both models seen here, the Air Max 90 and the Nike Hirachi, bear the Ultra moniker, which means Nike put in an effort to make them lighter and more comfortable. Usually this is a result of a cord out outsole, but for the Air Max 90, they updated the upper with molded foam, which should feel great. And for the Hirachi, they used a three layer mesh and foam. Now both pairs are actually available right now over at Nike.com. I'm not sure when it happened or how it happened, but at some point calling a shoe triple plus whatever color it is made it cooler than just saying that color. With that being said, Nike Sportswear has a new triple black sneaker for you to rock, the Nike Roshi 2. As I mentioned last week, the Roshi 2 is the follow-up to the Roshi Run and designer Dylan Roche made a few updates to bring the once super popular sneaker into 2016. Unlike the Flyknit models that Nike showed off with the announcement, this pair seems to only use mess, which still keeps the shoe pretty lightweight. Updated with metal eyelets, you can look for this pair to arrive in a couple weeks at select locations. I am not a big fan of leaked shoes, and as of yesterday, I'm sure James Harden isn't either. After this image of an early sample of the James Harden signature shoe hit the web, Twitter had a field day with it. The problem with it is that this isn't the final version of Harden's shoe. Every shoe from the Ultra Boost to the next KD shoe goes through a sample process. Many times those shoes are just black like this and don't really give an accurate representation of what the final product is going to look like. So to be clear, just to be clear, I haven't seen Harden's final shoe, but I can say with 99% certainty that this isn't the final version. So if you're going to clown hard in shoes, at least wait till the final pair is announced, not some early prototype of the shoe that may not even look like the shoe at the end of the day. All right, for the last video, the question was, would you rather wear old school shoes for the rest of your life or GR shoes for the rest of your life? This is what Michael Fan had to say. There are so many GRs that don't get a lot of hype and are low key fire. So I'd rather that than have retros that are mostly bulky and not as comfortable. After today's question of the video, it comes from Jack Westfall. And the question is, if you could switch the upper of one shoe and put it on a different shoe, what would those shoes be? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. That's what I'm rocking today. It is the Mamba Day uh, Kobe ID. It's actually Mamba Day today here in Los Angeles. So it was only right that I showed Kobe some love today. So that's what I'm rocking today. Anyway, uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something awesome is happening right here on the channel. And also follow me over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. It's all under the name Kusto. As always, guys, I appreciate you. Uh, this is Today in Sneaks. I'm Jack Slade, and I'll see you soon. Peace. When you have someone like Jordan at the top of your brand, it's easy to rely on the past. But is the Jordan 31 a play for the future? Let's start with the obvious, the Nike swoosh, the of this shoe, which is the KD9. Yes, you guys have seen it before, but this time you get the perspective of the designer of the shoe, which take things up 